So I came up with this smart idea. So for, again, I'm sorry, we're learning this in the schus of the neshama of an ish chesed Yaakov Barak, who was really a role model to all of us who knew him. Um, so I, I, you know, made my fancy schmancy statement about being strategic and making sure that even to the last minute I'm giving tzedakah and so on and so forth. However, it's important to remember that the Zohar is very careful to say that if I am going to wait until someone asks me in the final moments before Shabbos or Yantif, and especially Pesach for money for matzah, for money for the four cups of wine or money for the Pesach Seder, that I have already allowed a certain element of darkness to fall on this person because until the final moments, the person was hesitant to ask. And all that time as the person is worried, that means that the person is suffering. So I have to be sure that I'm not so strategic that if I know somebody's sitting and waiting to get, you know, uh, wondering where the money is going to come from, I have to make sure that I don't wait until they are nervous. So it's a, it's a balancing act, as is all halacha, which keeps us, you, you know, constantly Put this all together. Hashem says, let us create men who will give tzedakah. Let us create a human being who will make sure not just that other people have their needs, but other people know how to celebrate. And not just that they know how to celebrate, how to make their children happy. And included in making children happy is to make sure the parents have a positive mood. And making sure that the parents have a positive mood is to make sure that they don't have to wait till last minute to give tzedakah. So there are all sorts of things. And simply by reviewing these halachos and giving some thought to how we're going to provide or contribute money for Pesach and how much of it will be for matzah, how much of it will be for wine, how much of it will be for food, and how much of it will be for kids to have toys, that all of that is already a way of enhancing our awareness. And we are beginning the fulfillment of the mitzvah now by learning these halachos. Same way with the mishkan all the halachos, and then repeated when they did it, and then repeated afterward. The preparing for something is considered a mitzvah and a madriga in itself, and may all our efforts be a merit for us and for the neshama of Yaakov Barak.